okay so print deploy first the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create my printers so then this is my paper cut screen if you look under enable printing but print deploy lives which is what it goes to now when there's nothing in here you'll get a little video bit like this coming up so just click the x get rid of that okay so that's now empty so there's only one zone at the moment which is the default everyone zone um normally installs won't see this add zone option because it uh, isn't uh, sort of a licensed thing on the standard system um so in here i've got my options to add queues and nothing in here either so i'm just going to add a standard um shared printer here from the server so i'm going to put in the server name And there's my shared printer, so I'm going to double click that to add it. So here we go. And once that's done, we should have a new printer in our list. So let's wait for that to do, it's nearly there. And there's the printer. So if I go into my printers on the computer, here we go. And there it is, that's my printer. It's a full driver, and um, it's a Rico one, so it's a PostScript Rico driver. It looks like that. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I want to clone this to get it onto my PaperCut server. So if you go into the web interface for PaperCut, so in here we're going to add a queue. Okay, I'm going to we're going to clone the driver. So into that, turn over clone at all. Save that until it downloads and away it goes so I'm open that say yes so just follow the prompts on the screen so it should be able to connect back to the server on port 9174 it's found a queue which is correct so it doesn't pick up the virtual queues that are sitting in there as in the one note and things like that so what it would do it will grab the driver all the settings, package it up into a zip file, and then upload that to the server. When it's done, enter like that. So now on the server, we've got our print queue, and it's got the little Windows logo to show it's come from a Windows print queue. So what you do have as well is the mobility print queues. So in here, you've got mobile and BYOD. Um, I've already got this service installed in mine, so you will see mobility print with this little logo here. Click on that, and we'll get a second login screen. So I already have a printer in there, but I just want to show you. So in there, so printers here, select printer. We've got the follow me queue, so I can pick both if I want to to turn them both on. So I do that just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so that's that as is now. So then I'm going to go back to my enable printing um, into the print deploy. And then I'm going to clone that as well. Well, not clone it, I'm going to pull that in as well. So if we go back into our little arrow here, add queues again. If you look, there's an import BYOD friendly queues. So these are sort of a limited driver using paper cuts, a sort of cut down driver, but it's a quick and easy way to get people up and running. Uh, limitations to the driver and some things to do with color and stuff like that, but yeah, it's not too bad. So there goes, picked up two printers, so both of those, import the queues. Once that's done, success. So I'm going to view my printers. So I've got three printers now. So if you look, there's the Windows queue. And the mobility print queues are basically for pretty much all the um, operating systems out there. So you've got Windows, Apple, Chromebook, and Linux. So now what I need to do is I need to attach those to my everyone zone. So I'm going to go in here, pick my zone. Obviously, it says it's empty, no queues there. So put up the arrow there and then these are those printers so I can select all of these printers and connect them to my queue and I'm thinking well actually no I don't want the second following queue because I'm confused, confused having two names the same so I'm going to get rid of that one so I'm going to remove that one and then we can home not everyone needs that one I'm going to make it optional so we're going to here again we've got optional so then you get the little box that comes optional save and deploy that's ready to go that's as simple as that to actually make the queues so now if I just go back to my device and printers and get rid of that one I made earlier. So then I've got no printers installed. 
So then what I need to do is grab the, the deploy client here, which is the MSI you can deploy with group policy or push it out with Intune, depending on what you use. So it'll open up a web page just to show us how to do bits and pieces. So over here we have the option to save it. When Windows decided it wants to come up. Just close that window. Oh, I lost. There we go. So I'm going to save that. Same place as the other bit. So I'm going to look at my downloads now. So I should have a couple of files in there. So as my deploy client, and those files there are all part of the cloning. Okay, all the ones that it downloads, don't rename them because it uses these names to create connections back to the server. So I'm going to go and install my deploy client and then just let <laughs> trundle through those. So those are now, uh, or the client's now installed. So let's just minimize that for a minute. So nothing there just yet. There's my icon just come up now for the print of my client. So I should give it a mo. There we go, so it's now connecting, installing. So this now will install just the main driver because that's the only one I told it to install. So the follow me print queue. And again, that'll be the full print driver as it says there. So if I actually go down to this little icon now and right click on it, if I do view my printers, this will show me the one it's just installed. So that's the one it's just installed. And if you look in add printers, there's my Rico one. So I can go, actually, you know what? I need that one as well. So hit install. And again, that will pull down the driver it needs. So this one is the, the cut down driver. So once it comes up, it's almost there. So that's now gone out of that list. If I look at my printers, it's sitting in there. Because the optional ones, you can delete the ones that are deployed, you can't. So if I look at that one now, that one's a mini driver, like the old Windows Classics, and that was the full driver with everything. Okay, simple as that. Okay, so I've just deleted those printers and they're all gone from here. So I just want to show you the zone bit, how it works. So I'm going back to my enable printing. Obviously, there's my single zone. So let's have a look in there. I've taken the printer out, so there's nothing in there. So I'm going to add a zone. And I'm going to call it uh, pupil. And then I'm going to add a user group for my AD, which I've imported already. So pupil, so up there, but there's pupil. Let's keep it consistent and call that pupils. Hit save, so I'm created. So I have my next one. So this one I'm going to call training. Go to my groups, hit my training, save. So there's my two new groups. So now what I want to do is attach print queues to it. So in my training, I'm going to add my full print driver, connect that one. That's all I want for that zone, so it's save and deploy, done. So then my pupils, I'm going to give them a little bit different, I'm just going to give them Rico Home, so now it's a different printer, connect the zone, save and deploy, done. So then if I go to my bit here, and then also there, no printers so it will automatically update but it's timed I think it's 900 seconds by the default before it does a refresh but we can manually go bang do a refresh now so see my printer logging in so 
so it takes a moment or two just to fully install the drivers again so there it goes almost there done so there it is again a full driver so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to log out of this user and I'm going to log back in as a different user. So at the moment I'm in this user here, so it's me, and I'm going to log in as a test user. So I'll uh, do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just logged back in as a different user. So if we look in here now, I'm on what called test user one. So it should be automatically doing its thing now. I'm going to go to our printers, just see if we can get in there before it loads in. It'll probably be too late, but we shall see in a second. <laughs> right. I know I'm going around this a different, slightly different way, but it does what I want it to do. So into my control panel, devices and printers. So it's already installed the Rico Home, that's already popped up there. So that is just the basic driver. If I go down here, I should have my deploy client. Um, now, sometimes when you first runs on this, you can't right click it on the standard users. It does come back up later, but you'll get the view uh, and refresh options there. But to be honest, it does what it's meant to do. Okay, now I've got my client running. Simple as that, really. Um, if we print something, there it goes. So it should we'll disappear from there, and it would have printed because this is just a direct queue. There's no actual uh, holding on that one. So I could switch this. So it changes to the other printer. Um, because I don't think it's going to let me do it with that right clicking, so I'll just switch back to the other user. I'll do it while you can see it. So let's just log out of that one. I don't know if you noticed that quote had gone down there when I printed that page, so it shows it's doing its thing. So here we go, I'll log back in as this user. Because of the way I'm using this as well, because um, I've installed the printer as the other user, it will still show that second printer. But generally, on most people that are logging in as the same user all the time, um, it will add and remove printers as required, depending where they are or what group they're in. Um, so I could have had it as IP address rather than groups, um, and then that would have said, "Oh, you're in this area, or you're at this site." give them this printer so things like follow me queues if you've got sites um, it will actually add the local site printer rather than printing to a printer at another site um, obviously it's doable to make it print across the two but it will slow everything down so you can see straight away I've logged in it's logging in and installing the printer because basically I've deleted that other one so let's see if we can get to the printers Hopefully by the time I get there it will finish doing it. Here we go. So yeah, the Rico Home stayed there because obviously it was installed on the other user on this PC, so it won't actually delete it at this point. And there's my full follow me. And that is print deploy. Um, in this one here, I think I've got a um, pop-up enabled just to show client charging. So if you're a school um, Sometimes you want to charge it to a department or a, uh, like a solicitors or uh, architects, you might want to charge for projects. So when you do print, well, then it just goes straight through to the queue. You get a pop up like this. So you can have it to charge for your personal budget, or you can say, actually, no, I don't want to charge my personal budget, I want to charge it to an account. So 
If I do this one, that should go down. So I hit print, hit close. Okay, so it's, it's gone into it. So what I need to do is just release that print job to, so that cost goes down. So until it's released, that budget's not affected. Okay, so we're going to paper cut again. Not the speediest system in the world. Here we go. Login again. Printers. And then the printers, we should see the jobs that are pending release. So I'm going to pen and release. And there it is. So if I go uh, release all just to do some of that budget, so that should now print. And my budget went down. It's only a penny. I've got it very cheap on these things just to show it as a, an option. So you can see they're 1p. So it's come on my personal budget. So if I do it again, this time I pick an account instead. So this time I don't want to do a personal budget. I want to charge it to school admin. Print. So if I, if I refresh that. So that's the job I've just sent through now. So if I print that one as well, the budget shouldn't go down this time. It should stay at 9.99. Okay, but what's happened instead is that job is now printed to a department rather than a user. So if we look in here, there's me. This one was charged to school admin. That was charged to the personal budget. So just gives you an idea what that does as well. Uh, and that's about it.